Have you ever wondered how to create custom characters and insert them into any image? Well, you can do this with AI. You can do this specifically really well with Design AI. So without further ado, let's dive into the video and I'll show you how. So here we are in Design AI's platform and we can see here there are many different things that you can do including lip sync, image to video, text to image, image to image and what we're going to be focusing on here today is consistent character design. So if you were to create a children's book or even an animated series you could do so using this platform where you can create this character and have the character basically generated very consistently throughout whatever story or content that you're trying to create. So let's go ahead and click consistent character and get started with this. So here we are, what we're gonna do here is select the choose your character button. We can actually choose from a preset here and have a really consistent character. Or we can press build your character and actually go ahead and start building one. And we can choose two different options here. We can actually give it images that we've created and then it's gonna take those images and then compute them into different scenes or whatever we want, or we can actually describe our character here and create one ourselves. So let's actually do the description one here. We're gonna type in a prompt, which will be green hair, male, and superhero. Then we're going to design a character name. Let's just call him Steve. We can even drop a reference face if we want. But for this case, let's just choose this nice Pixar style image as the style that we want. If we did want more styles here, we can go ahead and find those in the styles section. There are so many to choose from here. Really loving this platform for the versatility when it comes to character creation. Once we're happy with this, we're gonna press generate character and then we're gonna let this do its magic. So now it's come back with two options that I can choose from. This is the first one, pretty nice indeed. And then the second one is this where we have a couple different angles to choose from. Let me know which one you prefer in the comments. I'm actually gonna go with this one because we have more versatility in the angles. Let's just click that and then we're gonna press start training. And now we can see after some time, it says character is ready. So we can now use this in consistent character. So now we can see we're back on this screen and our character is selected here. We also have a description or prompt for our character. So we can actually change what he's wearing in this section if we want. Okay, we could change the color of his gloves. We could give him a jacket, something like this, but we'll leave it as it is for now. Now, what we can do here is the character action and scene. So this is going to describe exactly what scene the character is in. So maybe he's in a city, maybe he's on the moon. It's really up to you what you pick here. So we're gonna type on the moon waving here. And then once we're happy with everything, we can select fast generation mode or normal generation mode. And this will just basically be the image quality and how accurate it is to your prompt. So from this point, I think we're happy with everything so far. Let's just press generate and see what it does. Now, if we wanted just the scene here, we could actually go ahead and remove our character very easily. So we've now highlighted this with the brush tool and we're just gonna press generate to remove the character, but keep the scene. This could be useful if we are essentially just creating a scene and maybe we want different things happening in that scene. Maybe we want a different pose of this character. And as you can see on the right hand side, it's given us a few different variations here. I'm pretty happy with this one here. You can see it looks pretty good. So we're gonna place that on our canvas and you can see we do have this image here now. So let's say we want to put our character in in a different position here. So what we can do, we can actually generate another character or the same character in a different position, but just for simplicity, we're gonna put our character back in. And another cool feature of what we can do with this is actually generate a video. So we could select this on the right hand side here, where it says AI video. We can then describe what we want to happen here. So we could say a zoom out, and then we're just going to press generate. But what we can see here as well, there are a bunch of different language models we can use. This could be something that you prefer, or it could be something that's specifically tailored to the type of video that you want. But we're gonna stick with Kling here today. I do prefer Kling more than anything else. So yes, let's just press generate and let this do its thing. And now it's finished generating. We can click on this image and we've got a very nice zoom in with him waving. And this looks just like a Pixar movie. I'm heavily impressed with that. I mean, think about 
all of the indie films and stuff you can make with this, the content, whether it's children's content, whether it's drama, it really depends the style you pick here, but the possibilities you can see with this really are limitless. So I've shown you how to actually do this and create a character, and as we've seen, the possibilities are crazy, but how much does something like this cost? Well, here we can see there is actually a free version, and what we did here today was roughly around 30 credits. You can see here uh, that's what you could create for free. But if you did want to upgrade, super easy to do, simply just press subscribe and you're going to get a ridiculous amount of credits for such a low price. Here it says $9 for 900 credits, which again, we barely used any here for today, and we did quite a lot of tasks here. Or if you want the creator package, this would be more if you're creating videos on the regular, whether it's short form or something like this. This could be great for a V YouTuber or something like this, because you get 3,000 credits, which if you were to use, say, 100 credits per day, that would last you the month very easily. So running a YouTube channel with this could be something that you might want to consider, or if you have a team and you do need some kind of content, or maybe you are an independent film studio and you need some B-roll. This could be something that is going to benefit your business massively and your content creation as a whole is going to go up in quality with this AI. And we can see here that it's very, very cheap in terms of the price. Now, if we wanted to build our own character from our own photos, let's just show you how to do that right here. So again, we're gonna click choose character, build your character, and then we're gonna select start with images. Then we're gonna upload these images. You can do three or you can do up to 30 here, but the more you have, the more consistent you're gonna get in terms of a generation. Let's just do three for an example here. So here we have uploaded our photos. Let's just start training and see what it comes out with. And just like that, it says our character is ready. So let's just check out what this comes up with. So what we're gonna do here is type in our scene like we did before, sitting on a bench, and then we're gonna press generate. And here on the right-hand side, you can see what it's come back with. I mean, this one in particular looks incredibly like me, so that's fantastic. But uh, if you did just wanna generate a character, then it's done this fantastically, and I could use this in any variation like we did with the other one. So that's gonna be it for this video, definitely check out Design AI in the description, guys, and that will be it from me. Have a fantastic day. I will see you in the next one.